Well, we, we might as well start there, Josh. Um, what does it mean to you to, to set the, the school uh, starts record? When did this become something that you even thought was a possibility? Um, I remember like when COVID hit, like a lot of me and the little guys would talk about it, like how many years we could potentially play. Um, and I told them every day, I was like, yeah, I'll never use that last season. Like, there's no way I'll still be here for that. And here I am and I'm breaking the record. So it's fun. Um, I'm glad, you know, my family's a lot more excited than I am. I don't, I try not to get too up or down about things. So yeah. on, on that note, what, what went into the decision to return? Why, why did you decide to come back for this, this gift of the last year? Um, there was, I mean, there was a lot of, uh, things going on at the time that made me stay, but, um, you know, some of the things were just surgery on my foot, you know, talking about the next level and stuff, didn't want to go there. And uh, knowing I had to learn a new position and stuff, figured I might as well get a year of that under my belt. What about kind of hearing a new voice after a new O-line coach? That mm -hmm. probably was a draw as well, I would mm -hmm. think. And yeah, that was a big reason why I stayed here too, is because, you know, get some new coaching, get some a new perspective on the game. So that's, mm -hmm. that's been fun. And how, how, what kind of impact has that had on you? Like what has Devan brought and all that? How, how's that gone for you? Uh, I think it's been really good, especially um, for my confidence. I feel like he's someone who gives his players a lot of confidence, and I think that's something that's benefited me this year for sure. Do you have enough fight with teammates right now to get extra tickets for the game for for the <laughs> trip? Um, no, not really. I'm good. When you say it's big for your family, describe what that is. That just are them are they all over your phone calls? Or no, just, I mean they're just proud of me. You know, yeah. just I mean, with anything. I mean they always are, but um, yeah, they're proud of an accomplishment that I have. So. What was the first thing that you took away when you arrived from, I mean, I don't know if you knew much about him, but, you, you know, a guy like this who's been around so long. No, you know, like, uh, I, I didn't really know anyone at Oregon State when I was transferring over. I, uh, Levin Good kind of came from the same area I was here. Mm -hmm. He was kind of like, we, uh, he was still here while we were talking and everything. And then all I remember is, don't you guys have the guard that scored the touchdown? <laughs> <laughs> or the, the tackle that scored the touchdown in San Diego State? And they're like, yeah, 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 that's Josh. He's gonna play guard this year. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So like, I kind of like came into it and then like, I came here for my official, uh, I think mid December, early December, something like that. And then as we progressed, I came for spring ball game. I got to see some of the guys in action. Um, you know, got to meet some guys, got to meet Josh, got to talk with him. It was really cool, but you know, I wasn't really part of the team yet. And then I got here in summer. And, you know, he, he's a little older and I'm a little older, so we, I feel like I kind of just connected with Josh a little quicker than the younger guys, but you know, he made it very welcome. It's a family-based team, and it's, it was right out the front door with it, so. Yeah, after six games, how would you just describe playing, you know, next to him and what he brings to, to the line? Um, I mean, I feel like it was definitely, during camp, there's definitely some times where there's some trust things going on because it's, he's playing guard, new position for him. I'm on a whole new team. It's a new, it's just a whole new base for us, but, um, uh, I kind of had experience with kind of developing trust with guys quickly throughout the past years I've been at Colorado and all that stuff. But when I got here, I could tell like I actually meant something more and kind of had to dig deep and actually build a trust and build something to work on and have that. And so I think throughout fall camp, we kind of got closer and closer. And then during season, you know, it kind of just goes with like, we're doing an interview together now, it's left side. But um, I mean, I feel like Josh is like, obviously like the first guy I met here and he's the biggest impact, so. It's great to have the trust that we have on and off the field. Josh, I'm thinking back to when you first got here. It was all these vets like Kipper and Cordasco and uh, the Brando. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is it kind of just fun to think back to that point and I don't know, re reflect on, on being that kind of veteran leader in this room now? Yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun back then, you know, and I learned a lot from those guys. And so it is fun to like look back and think about how much has changed since then. And, you know, me being in their role now and thinking about. The young guys we have now, they're basically where I was then. So it's it's very interesting. And um, yeah, I'm very grateful that I had those guys uh, when I, early on to show me how, how it's meant to be. Between that and then the decision to stay here, I imagine this place means a lot to you. Mm -hmm. Can you describe what, what this place means to you after all these years? Um, I mean, this is home. I've been here, you know, my whole adult life. You know, this is everything. <laughs> everything I have is here and because of here. And mm -hmm. I got it from here. And so... It's just, this is this is my home, really. Well, grew you here to begin with? Why, why did you end up coming here? Um, I liked the slow-paced life here. I liked Coach M. I liked um, the school. And, you know, I wasn't huge on Oregon. I was, you know, I didn't know much about it when I got here. And so it was different. 
but I just so quickly just realized like, oh, this is more my, my speed because mm -hmm. I'm from Southern California and that's that's not my speed. Mm -hmm. I'm, I like it slowed down and chill and this is, I love it, everything about this place. Obviously aspirations to get to the next level. Uh, How would you say the playing guard has affected that and, and what do you kind of look forward to, to showing on film and, and, and making that step? Um, it's just, like they told me I was going to be most likely playing interior at the next level, so mm -hmm. it's just been, I don't know, same shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> same as before, uh, just doing, <laughs> trying to do my best. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice having this guy next to me. Yeah. You feel like you've set yourself up, though, to succeed, you know, to, to get to what you want to do? Shoot, I don't know. I'm just taking it one week at a time, just yeah. going on to the next one. I don't even know if we play next week. I'm just, we're focused on UNLV. Yeah. It's Cal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way, I mean, 50 games is, is not just talent and, and ability. It's endurance and it's, it's you know, being able to play. Is, it, is there a way you can offer us insight into what it takes behind the scenes to physically get yourself ready to play and be healthy at every game? Uh -huh. um, I mean, you just, you got to take care of your body. You got to be rolling out. You got to be stretching, you mm -hmm. know. We've talked about every night we like have like rollers next to our bed. We're rolling out. We're stretching. And uh, I think diet is big too. I'm always trying to eat my fruits and veggies. Uh, good for your joints and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the other part of it is just you know knowing. For me, it's like knowing when to when to be on and when to be off. So when I'm off, I'm off. I don't do anything. I'm just relaxing. I'm focusing. You know, doing the mental part of it. But when I'm on, then I'm full speed mm -hmm. going. You know. And is that like back to the taking care of your body, is it weightlifting, stretching, cold yeah. tub, like what, what all did, goes into that? Uh, for me, it's mainly rolling, stretching. If you get a bump or bruise, you go get a rehab, you know, make sure it's doing okay. Um, and then, yeah, we're always in the weight room, you know, yeah. with our guys. Are y'all roommates? No, we're not, okay. <laughs> no, I live with my wife. Have we asked the nickname, Tank? Yeah, you guys What's asked, the origin story for that? You guys asked that? Uh, the first time we met, uh, I think it was Idaho State. Spring. Fall camp. Fall camp, yes. Um, yeah, so uh, when I was younger, uh, we kind of moved from Vacaville to Davis to play football. And uh, my head coach at the time, he was a old Air Force guy. And so he played, uh, he used to fly, or I think he still flies commercial. He might have retired now. But uh, his name was Craig Burksdale. Great guy, loved him. But he was kind of a military brat, you know, and so, he kind of saw me walk on the campus and like join the football team. He's like, you're a big son of a B, you know, like you're a big guy. And like, he's like, you play football? I was like, yeah, of course. He's like, all right, you're gonna be our tank. I'm like, all right, sounds good. <laughs> and so ever since then, you know, it's been picked up mostly with the guys to begin with. And my mom was against it for a while and then she slowly grew into it. And then now she's full blown tank. And a lot, almost everyone calls me uh, tank unless I'm in trouble and then I get my first name called. <laughs> Probably it wouldn't have made it here if not for Coach coming with you, though, huh? Because how would anybody know? Switching teams, you know what I mean? Sorry, I can't repeat that. Well, demand, <laughs> Coach came over with you. No one would have known that you're there. You don't say, hey, I'm tank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, <laughs> sorry, I got a little confused there. But no, um, at this point in my life, I do introduce myself as tank. Okay. So, <laughs> it, it just kind of like fits, you know, like especially with like friends. Like when I meet my friends' friends and they like talked about me, it's always introduced as tank. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm tank. And then every now and then I'll be like, oh, I'm Jerry. They're like, who? I'm like, tank. <laughs> and like, right. I was like, yeah. Sounds like something you need to trademark and put on a t shirt. DJ. There you go. Maybe, maybe. I put one. Uh, for either of you guys in that last game when the interceptions are starting to pile up on Giovanni, what are you guys sort of, you know, telling him at that point and how has he sort of handled, you know, since that game ended? Mm -hmm. um, I came up to him after the game, you know, he was trying to put the blame all on him. I said, no, well, when you get hit, you know, that's quarterbacks tend to get scared, you know, I mean, you know, no dig, but they tend to get more wily back there if you let them get hit. And so I feel like we got, we let him get hit. And then that's when the turnovers started happening, in my opinion. So I feel like I always try to put the blame back on, you know, us because we can do something about that. So I think we just got to tighten up the protection more. My uh, last question. Back to the record, I assume you're probably sick of talking about it, but what do you envision your emotions will be like knowing that you will kind of put yourself in, in, in the school record books on that day? Um, I feel like I'll be emotional, but I mean, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to <laughs> keep my head in the game and stuff. You know, I don't want to, I don't try to blow things out of proportion. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Maybe something after the game? Would yeah, be, yeah, we'll have some fun after yeah. the game. <laughs> what does that look like? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. That's a secret. Don't worry about it. Four years at home at night. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Thanks, Thank guys.